There are a lot of badges in 2K20, some old and some new. So I decided that I want to give basketball YouTubers badges that reflect their games the best. In this video, we'll do five YouTubers and you guys can let me know if you want to see more. So to keep this video from being 20 minutes long, I thought it was best that I give the YouTubers their badges based on a 15 point system. So how that works is each YouTuber gets 15 points and I have to split up those points into badges that reflect their game the best. So Hall of Fame badges cost four points, gold costs three, silver costs two, and bronze cost one. Now before we start, keep in mind that this is just my opinion, and I could go through and give them all the badges that reflect their games 100%, but again the video would be ridiculously long, so with the 15 point system, you could say that this is just an abbreviated version. So with all that being said, let's get to it. So we're going to start things off with the sharpshooter, 50 cal Mal. One of the first things that come to mind when I think about Mal's game is his ability to heat up quickly. So with that being said, I'm giving Mal Hall of Fame Green Machine. All it takes is for him to get a couple shots to go in, and he just goes on a tear after that. Next I'm giving him gold difficult shots. Mal is really good at pulling up after some crazy dribble moves. It's fun to watch him play because of this. Next up we got Gold Deadeye. Mal will not hesitate to pull up in your face, and that's because he has so much confidence in his shot. Next I'm going to give him Gold Quick Draw. I feel like I don't need to explain this one, Mal's definitely got one of the quickest releases on YouTube. And wrapping things up with two points left, I'm gonna throw in silver tight handles. Now this could arguably be a gold badge, but I only had two points left and I wanted to focus most of his points toward his shooting abilities. But Mal's handles are quick, so he can easily break you down if your head's not in the game. AJ Lepre, this is gonna be fun. Definitely gotta give him Hall of Fame difficult shots. This dude just literally makes all kinds of shots on people, and he's really good at shooting off the dribble. Next I'll give him Hall of Fame Green Machine. Just like 50 Cal Mal, AJ can heat up very fast, so you want to keep him from shooting at all costs. Then I'm going to give him Gold Contact Finisher. AJ has a lot of skill at the rim, and his size allows him to fight through contact whenever he needs to. So with these last four points, I'm going to split them up into two silvers. First is Silver Deadeye. Again, AJ has good size, high release point on his jump shot, so he has the ability to shoot over a good contest. And finally, Silver Quick First Step. He can easily blow by his opponents with his speed, so I feel like this one was a must-have. And again, these two silver badges can easily be golds, I just don't have enough points. And this is tough because all the people in this video deserve more badges, I'd just be here forever trying to talk through them all. Moving on to the next player, we have Jesser. I instantly knew that I wanted to give him Hall of Fame Corner Specialist, cause that's his shot. He's most likely not missing from there if you leave him wide open, so Hall of Fame Corner Specialist is an easy choice. I also want to give him gold tight handles. Jester has a variety of moves that he can hit you with that will leave you looking lost on the court. For example, his behind the back crossover. Next, I want to give him gold range extender. He loves to show off his range and he's actually very efficient at shots from way behind the arc. And of course, I have to give him gold deep fades. Jesser loves his fadeaway shots outside the restricted area. He also hits these at a very efficient rate. And with two points left, I'm gonna throw in Silver Green Machine. Jesser is able to heat up from anywhere on the court. Sometimes I feel like it takes him a little longer than AJ and Mao, so I think that Silver is fair enough.
Next up, we got the man Flight Reacts. Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. First things first, I want to give Flight Hall of Fame quick draw. I feel like this is an obvious one because Flight's jump shot looks like the animation you get when you throw up a shot at the buzzer. Next, I'm actually going to give him Gold Unpluckable. And as crazy as this sounds, I don't think I've ever seen Flight get robbed while performing a dribble move. So Gold sounds good to me? Next, I'm going to give him Gold Rebound Chaser. In his 1v1s, Flight over-exaggerates the term, follow your shot. I've never seen someone run after their own rebound as fast as him in my life. Next up, I'm giving Flight silver handles for days, and silver tireless shooter. Even though Flight's stamina isn't the best, he still finds enough energy late in games to perform dribble moves and take, sometimes make, three-pointers. And with one point remaining, I'm gonna throw in bronze deep hooks. Because, well, Flight really likes that shot for some reason. And to wrap up the video, we have Cash Nasty. I feel like it's only right that we start things off with Hall of Fame clamps. Cash has the strength and the lateral quickness to stay in front of his opponents. He's good at cutting them off to the rim, so I gotta go with Hall of Fame there. Next, I'm gonna give him Gold Intimidator. This could be Hall of Fame, but I gotta make room for some more badges down the road. So I have to go with Gold for now. This one is self-explanatory. Cash has good size that might have some people shook. Next, I'm going to give him Gold Tireless Defender. No matter how long a game goes, you can never tell that Cash is tired on defense because he's always giving an effort. Then I'll give him Gold Rebound Chaser. He's a good rebounder and a hard worker down low. And finally, for the present day Cash Nasty, I'm giving him a silver back down punisher. Cash likes to work his opponents in the post, and his size allows him to back down his opponents fairly easy. And again, this one could be gold, I just didn't have enough points. So there we have it. I gave these five YouTubers their badges based on a 15 point system and my opinion. I'm expecting to get some disagreements in the comment section, but I totally understand. I'm down to discuss with y'all, so feel free to share your thoughts. This was a bit of a different kind of video, but let me know if you want to see more. We could do it with some other YouTubers and make this a little series. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.